Hey Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So today I have Baby India, and India is the prototype kit sculpt by Jennifer Sussman Price with Silicone Studios. And she is a, did I say what she was? Oh, well let's say it again. She's a silicone cuddle baby with hands. So, I just want, I know you guys haven't seen her in a while. She's wearing a preemie sleeper uh, because she's on a preemie um, Reggie Ann's body. It might be a large preemie, I can't remember. The sizes change a lot with Reggie Ann bodies, to be honest. Um, I don't find them to always be consistent in sizes, but, um, I usually, sometimes you can put like what scope is for and because she does, uh, the babies herself too. A lot of times she knows which bodies kind of go with them. I don't know. And that kind of helps, but, um, or you can ask before you order which one you know they recommend and then you go from there um i think she's always adjusting sizes because you know us as collectors we have different preferences and some people are like oh no that body didn't work oh no this one didn't work you on this this kid um i feel like it should be this it should be that and so she's always trying to fit our needs and so i think that's why she changed it but anyway nevertheless i love the body that um India is on and she does have an open mouth the kit is does not have an open mouth but her mouth has been opened so she takes she can take a full pacifier but the way that her mouth is the position of her mouth I just don't really ever want to put a pacifier in there if that makes sense um if I do I use the micro creamy one but the reason why I wanted to talk about bring Kit on today and talk about her is because I wanted to talk about that she's my most cuddly baby. She's also very like posable too. Like I love that I can do all types of poses with um with India. So <clears throat> and I've been saying this for a while on my videos that the cuddle babies, the one thing I love about them the most is that they pose so cute and that you can dress them so much if you want to and not have to worry about a lot of wear and tear on the the doll itself now that's when it's just the head i feel like you know every time we you know they come out with something we always want more and more so everything just begins to be tweaked and tweaked and tweaked so now you know first it was just the cuddle heads now people are doing the hands and now they're doing the hands and the feet love the idea love that 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 she does have hands it does make it more believable that as if she's full body or whatever and she still has that cuddle factor to her um but if you're a person that loves to dress your babies like all the time all the time all the time i honestly think just the head is the best way to go because you're still having to be very cautious of the fact of the rubbing against the hand so it kind of eliminates the dressing factor for me i know you can put hand mitts on but, I mean, if you're a person that dress all the time, you're not going to be, like, keeping them on the same hand mitts. So, switching out the hand mitts every time is just, like, you might as well just be dressing them with their clothes. So, um, you have to be careful not to drag the clothes across the hands a lot. So, that's that's my only my only spill on that is that, yeah, it, it makes you feel like you have a partial baby for a, probably a less cost. Um, but you know, the thing is when we say, oh, we want to save and on cost on this and cost on that, honestly, the cost still ended up being kind of pricey. Materials is pricey. This, you know, some of these cuddle heads can cost $500 just for the head. 
um, no body or nothing with it. So, um, it can just slowly add up. And so then the price of the actual doll end up being pretty pricey anyway. So it's really about what you like. So she's posable, very posable. And then we have my, don't mind her, her hair is not done. That's why she got on her little head scarf. <laughs> I had this little outfit um, for some time and I was like, she got a piece of glitter on her. And I was like, oh, I need to um, put Nori on some clothes. So Nori is a full body, what some people would call a micro preemie. Um, she's 14 to 15 inches. I measured almost 15 inches, but she's she's marketed as a 14 inch baby. Um, and I'm sure they, you know, they'd rather go on the smaller size so people won't be like, oh, you said it was 15 inches. It's like 14.9299 or something. Um, so, yeah, so she has a squishy tummy. She has a jelly belly, which is really, feels really real. And then she has armatures in her arms and her feet. And it's so funny because the silicone is really soft. Her silicone is so soft, but it's like you feel a bone in there. But at the same time, it allows me to, she has full armatures in her arms and legs. And it go all the way down to her feet. So I can, you know, change her feet position, her legs. So she is my next most poseable baby. But she's not like jiggly, floppy, all that. The only thing flops still is her head, of course. Her head is still very floppy and it turns very easy from side to side. Because she is soft and it is flexible. It's just that she has the armature so they slow it down. So for posing and, and pictures and stuff, I love babies with armatures and I still want the soft silicone, but I like the armatures in it. Um, so armatures is my next favorite thing when it comes to posing and for babies for photos and so on and so forth. If I want a baby just for like a full body for just holding and like a bigger baby, I would rather it be you know, just elbow armatures or armatures in the arms and not the legs. I had one with both and I didn't mind it, but I still, I think overall, if I be honest with myself, I prefer them to just be soft and, and very flexible um, if they're bigger. This, Nori is just a hand size baby anyway. I do hold her, but she's not one that I'm going to like just hold all the time. Or expect to, you know, be flopping in my hand and all that and stuff. So, I don't mind her her armatures. Oops, she's got good weight to her too. So. so like, I mean, it's just so many <laughs> poses you can do with Nori because of... But I seen her without armatures. That's the other thing because the silicone nowadays are so soft. That's the other thing is that because it's so soft, um, sometimes you don't need the armatures because the armatures, um, the silicone is so soft, it still poses like very, very nice. Um, and you can move them around a lot. So it's just, it's, it's just, interesting and one of those things where you just really have to decide like what it is that you're looking in your baby you know for your baby like are you are you a holder you know I I have been having such interesting conversations with people about the cuddle babies um I I even did an experiment with cuddle baby I'll talk about that later in the chatterbox, um, something I did. But um, a lot of people have been shocked 
at how much they actually like them once they get them. And I, myself, I like to hold her like this. I'm always holding her like this. Um, uh, I will admit that even me, I hated them initially. And I know hate is a strong word, but I really did. Um, and the reason why I hated them so much, where's the, I keep putting that thing down and I keep messing up her hair. You guys can't even see her, but it's bothering me. Nor, um, the reason why I, I hated the cuddle babies was because the first body that I got for a cuddle baby, it was so stiff and it was a fixed body. So it was already sewn up and all that stuff. And it was really no way to really adjust the weight. And the baby just didn't flop. It didn't have no movement, no nothing. I'm thinking to myself, like, cuddle baby, I thought this baby would be, like, super, you know, you know, fluid. Like, you know, just squishy inside and stuff. But it was so stiff. It was like the the arms, the legs, everything was so tight. And you couldn't, you couldn't hardly even pose it or nothing. And it was a reborn that was supposed to be going on this baby, on this body. And I was just like, mm, mm So I don't remember if I sold it like that. I might have did um, because at the time, that's what, you know, they had signed up for. But I later was doing another one and I had that. I said, I don't really, you know, care for the body. So I, that's when I looked into getting a Reggie Ann body. And then once I got the Reggie Ann body, I was like, oh my gosh, like this baby is so cuddly. I didn't even want to send that baby home to the mama, which I'm forever. <laughs> like one of my customers told me I'm forever wanting to keep people babies. But, um, and then I realized, oh, so they can be cuddly. And then it went from there. So even then I wasn't totally convinced until I did, I painted my own. And, um, one of them, I felt like it was too small for me. So I really, I loved it, but it was so small. I just was kind of like, ah. Eh. And then, so then India, I really, um, I really liked her size and I liked the way she turned out and stuff like that. So on the body, I was like, oh, and then I started holding her a lot. I was like, oh my gosh, these are so nice. So I fell in love with the uh, cuddle babies. Um, like I said, I do, I'm a very uh, particular and careful collector. Not saying that other people are not, um, but I feel like I do just fine with cuddle babies with hands and feet or just hands or without hands. But just as far as the dressing part, because I don't, even though I love the fact that I can dress them, I think I'm more excited about the fact that, you know, there's a lot of little cute jean outfits that I would normally, I normally wouldn't put on my babies. I also don't use like very dark colors normally on my, on my babies, on my dolls, reborns or silicone. But with the cuddle babies, I love that I can do that now. <laughs> I can put them on the little jean outfits and the little jeans and not worry about it the color transfer into their their uh, vinyl and stuff so I think I'm a little bit more excited about that but I realized quickly when I was getting ready to dress one of my babies in a jean outfit and and the one had the feet and I was like oh I still gotta worry about the dye maybe transferring on the feet or the hands and stuff so that's when I realized I'm like, oh, just a cuddle baby with the head is very low maintenance. And then you still have to be a little bit more careful with the other ones. But if you're a person that just dressed babies all the time, back and forth, back and forth, you're still getting that rubbing and all that and stuff. And it's still, you're still pretty much in the same predicament as you would be with a partial silicone or full body silicone. So that's, you know, that's just my spill for today. I think my next uh, favorite, well, yeah, my next favorite thing would be a partial like full limbs because you have more dressing options but you still have the cuddle factor with the cloth body and then um full body I love because you can your clothes is what is unlimited and I mean you don't even have to put them on clothes if you don't want to just a diaper if you want to um so I really really you know, I feel like every doll has it, its place in this community and it's all about what 
or in the hobby or what the collecting it's all about what you like and what you per prefer and what type of collector you are um i don't know that shelf collectors will be as intrigued by cuddle babies as they would unless it's one that they really really love the face and they can't get it any other way because they're not people that pick up their babies or hold them and care if they're cuddly or not so um i think they would feel like it's a, a waste or something um but yeah for people that really hold their dolls like for real for real um cuddle babies is like Definitely, I understand why they are so popular right now. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.